The human body is not designed to throw a baseball 100 miles an hour. There's a reason most fireballers have to have their arms reconstructed at some point. Watch this slow-mo of Walker Bueller's arm. Arms are just not supposed to do that. So whenever some plucky minor leaguer comes up throwing triple digit heat, I'm usually pretty skeptical they can keep it up through their 20s. But some players are different, and Bruce Star Gratterall is definitely one of those players. So what makes Gratterall so unique and not just an average everyday fireballer? You see, Bruce Star Gratterall throws hard. Not just hard, really hard. But more than that, his bread and butter pitch is his sinker, not a fastball, which is typically something you see from ground ball specialists not fireballing relievers. But when we check the StatCast leaderboards, we can see that Gratterall threw his sinker as hard as anybody else in baseball last season, routinely topping 100 miles an hour. The hardest pitch thrown by someone not named Josh Stalmont or Jacob deGrom last season was a Brewster Gratterall sinker, but he isn't out there laboring on every pitch. Just look at this delivery. It barely looks like he's even trying, but the ball just explodes out of his hand. Gratterall, though, isn't a Rivera-type pitcher that just chucks his best pitch at hitters and they're powerless against it. He throws about a 70-30 pitch mix between his sinker and a deadly slider that comes in around 89 miles an hour and has some wiffle ball-type movement. In fact, Gratterall's horizontal movement was 4.4 inches better than average on his slider, and in the 85th percentile for qualified pitchers in 2020. He very clearly has some great stuff that should baffle hitters, and this is backed up by even more StatCast numbers. By Baseball Savant's pitch value metric, Gratterall's slider and sinker were worth negative 4 and negative 6 runs last season, both well above average and top 20 in baseball on a per pitch basis. So how can we explain this? It's the main reason Gratterall, at least at this stage in his career, is a complete anomaly. Nobody with as great velocity and movement as him strikes out as few people as Bruce Star Gratterall. Maybe you can chalk it up to last season's small sample size, but a strikeout rate as low as Gratterall's relative to the league-wide trends is a pretty huge outlier. Why didn't he strike anyone out? A potential answer lies in his pitch heat maps from last season, where we can see that his sinker was most common pretty much down the middle, which, well, is not good. The other reason is that Gratterall's sinker, despite coming in triple digits, doesn't have great movement. It has pretty much dead average vertical movement and solidly below average horizontal movement, and its average spin rate was ranked 250th out of 279 qualified sinker bowlers. This resulted in his sinker having an abysmal 6.8% whiff rate, which is 10th worse out of those 279 qualified sinker bowlers. Here's the second layer of Gratterall's remarkable 2020 though. Despite not striking anyone out, he was still a very effective pitcher. We've seen that Gratterall is an electric fireballer, but his per nines more resemble those of a crafty lefty well into his 30s with great walk and home run rates. While Gratterall's sinker didn't have the drastic movement required to produce swings and misses, it still had the subtle movement required to induce ground balls at an elite rate. He averaged a negative 0.6 degree launch angle on balls hit against him last year, which was 5th lowest for pitchers with at least 50 bat of ball events. While there was an about average amount of good contact against him, the sinker completely avoided great contact, as seen by Gratterall's 96th percentile barrel percentage against. Combine this with Gratterall's 98th percentile walk rate, and you have a pitcher that does not need to strike guys out to find success. If Gratterall replicated his 2020 every year for the rest of his career, he'd be a solid setup guy, but I mean, watch him pitch. You and I both know he can be so much more. Pitchers that throw 100 plus miles an hour are some of those mythologized players in baseball history. Walter Johnson, Bob Feller, Nolan Ryan. I'm not saying that Gratterall will ever come close to these guys, but he without a doubt has the right arm to be somebody special. But the guys I just mentioned were able to strike people out at historic rates. All things considered, Nolan Ryan and a guy like Tom Glavin had pretty similar careers, but Ryan is the far more iconic of the two because of his strikeout ability. So will Gratterall ever unlock the dominant strikeout numbers his elite stuff affords? Let's look at the big picture here. Brewster Gratterall is 22 years old and has thrown 33 career innings. While the location of his sinker was definitely suboptimal in 2020, it was in an extremely small sample size and it's an issue he has years to fix. And don't forget he also has a backbreaking slider that was actually more valuable than his sinker per pitch. Let's look at two players that have similar pitching profiles to Gratterall to try and project how his career may take shape. First we can turn to his teammate, Blake Trinan, who throws a very similar pitch mix that mainly relies on a hard sinker and getting ground balls. 
Trinan was successful in his mid to late 20s at Washington, with above average but not exceptional strikeout rates and high walk rates. Then he was traded to Oakland and had one of the best seasons for a reliever in baseball history before crashing back down to earth in 2019. He was fine in 2020 for LA but didn't have the same strikeout stuff or velo he showed off earlier in his career. But Gratterall throws harder, has a better slider, and has showcased better control than Trinan in every year except Trinan's peak 2018. And oh yeah, he's four years younger now than Trinan was as a rookie. Gratterall, while I don't think we'll ever replicate the ridiculous Trinan 2018 season, definitely is capable of and I think will have a better overall career than Blake Trinan. The second comparison we can look at is Diego Castillo, who is a similar fireballing sinker baller, but relies much more on his slider than Gratterall does. Castillo debuted in 2018 for Tampa Bay and has been excellent so far. Similar to Gratterall, his sinker has exceptional velocity, low spin rate, below average movement, and suboptimal location, and it's built more to induce soft contact than dodge bats. Castillo is also young, so I think Gratterall in a year or two will have similar numbers to Castillo overall, and both these pitchers have the potential to be premier closers in the upcoming decade. Overall, Gratterall already possesses the ability to dodge barrels and has shown the capacity to walk very few players, albeit in a small sample. If he can just perfect the ability to miss bats, which mostly comes with the transition from thrower to pitcher that many young prospects have to go through, he's definitely special enough to be a perennial all-star reliever. He could definitely be on the level of guys like Dellen Betances or David Robertson, and if absolutely everything goes right, he could reach the level of a guy like Kenley Jansen. But there's one more thing that makes me very optimistic about Bruce Dark Gratterall. That makes me think he can be a great closer in the near future. From an analytics perspective, the closer role should not exist. Every team should close by committee based on matchups and bring their best reliever into the highest leverage situation in a game even if it's like the fifth inning. People much smarter than me have proved this and some teams already do it. But in reality, closing is a much different beast than coming into the sixth or seventh inning. I truly believe great ninth inning guys need a killer mentality and innate confidence in themselves, and Bruce Dark Gratterall has both of those in spades. Let's turn the clock back to August 12th of last year. Gratterall has shown promise so far in 2020, but has been pretty bad in his appearances so far as a Dodger. But Dave Roberts puts him into a tight spot in maybe the biggest game of the season so far, and he comes out of the pen with a different look in his eye. Gratterall is a gregarious fellow off the field, so I didn't know he had this competitive streak in him, but he looks pissed off, and he delivers an excellent inning against the heart of the Padres order. That is the moment I became fully confident that Bruce Dark Gratterall is the future closer of the Dodgers, and that he has the stuff and the killer mentality to be one of the best relievers in Major League Baseball. Of course, looking at his delivery, I wouldn't be surprised if his arm explodes and he never pitches again, so what do I know? Thanks for sticking around, if you're liking the content it helps me out a ton to like and subscribe, and leave a comment letting me know what you think. As always, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.